What is a business plan and why do you need one? When most people think of writing business plan, they envision a long, extensively detailed document with reams of data and financial forecasts. While that may be the requirement for people seeking outside funding, a business plan doesn't always have to be all that complicated to be effective. It provides the blueprint for how you intend to build your business, so the plan only has to be as long. How to conduct market research for your online business. One of the biggest mistakes any internet marketer can make is to fail to understand their market. Before you start spending all of your time and money dedicated to one target niche or product, you need to do some thorough market research. Don't even begin to create a business plan until you've done the following. Number one, keyword research. Keyword research is the first step for most online marketers. It helps you understand what people are searching for online and what words they are using. How to define your unique selling proposition. It will be extraordinarily difficult to succeed if you don't have something that sets you apart. This is referred to as your unique selling proposition or your USP also called your unique value proposition. Why should someone buy from you versus anyone else? What extra value can you offer? Look closely at what you want to offer to people as a part of your business model. Then you'll need to answer the following questions. How to pick your online business model. This is the year that you plan to really succeed in your online business and to make it a full-time income. However, in order to build a successful online business, you need to first identify the primary business model you want to follow. There are millions out there, and you may already have one in mind, or have one you have committed to. If not, or if you have decided you need to change your focus, here are seven of the most popular online business models. Number one, AdSense site. How to determine if your business plan will be profitable. Only the foolhardy and reckless forego ahead with a business idea before estimating if it will really be profitable. Once you have looked at all the details involved in implementing your business idea, you need to do an estimate of your break-even point and return on the investment, the ROI. The breakdown point tells you how much income you need to cover your expenses, while the ROI can give you an estimate on the actual profits you can expect to make from all of the money and time you are investing. When should you create a business plan? A business plan is a living, breathing document that will grow and change along with your business. When first starting a new business, it helps to determine if you have a good, financially viable idea. At the beginning of each year, it helps you to plan out your goals and strategies. Of course, if you need to raise money, people will want to see a detailed plan. However, remember that you need to revisit your business plan regularly. As market conditions change, laws and regulations change, or you aren't seeing the results. How to develop your sales and marketing plan for your online business. There's a well-known internet marketer whose favorite quote is, hope is not a marketing plan. You can't just pick a marketing strategy and hope that it will work. Instead, you need to put together a detailed marketing plan where you lay out your arsenal of strategies for meeting your business goals. This isn't a comprehensive list of daily tasks. It's a breakdown of each task you want to use and the process you'll put in place for its implementation. How to implement your business plan for ultimate success. All the plans in the world won't help you if you don't actually implement them. You need to lay out all of your tasks into a clear action plan. Then it's just a matter of getting straight to the work and plowing right through to success. The hardest part is done. Now it's time to take action. Set up your business model. Since you already know what you want to achieve and how it will be done, you can begin by setting up the basics. Write down each of the How to set your short and long-term business goals. You've probably heard the old adage many times before, he who doesn't plan, plans to fail. For any business to succeed, you need to have very specific plans and goals that you want to achieve. They can and will be revised over time as things change, but you need to start somewhere. In addition, your goals need to contain a few different elements to be effective, and you need several types of goals that are smart. What's a How to write your elevator speech for your USP. Say you meet someone in the hallway of a business conference, and they ask you what you do. What will you say? Everyone needs to have a one-minute speech prepared that explains exactly what their business is all about and why people should even listen to them. Here are the main steps to creating your elevator speech. Number one, outline your USP. What are the key points of your unique selling proposition? What's different about you compared to your... The essentials you need to know for estimating your future revenue. 
Estimating the revenue you will make in your business is probably one of the most difficult parts of creating any type of business plan. For any projects that you have that already earn money, you can just look at the past to help predict the future. But for new projects, you'll need to look at a number of different factors. Before looking at tips for doing your estimates, you first need to understand a few basic terms. Revenue. Your revenue is the amount of money you earn before